The next piece I got, I have actually been on the hunt for. Yeah, it's pretty perfect. I'm in love with this sweater. Listen to that click. Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Bella and today I have a fall thrift haul for you. The best kind of thrift haul ever. I've picked up a few really amazing clothing staples recently and also a few fun home things. So I'm gonna show you the home things at the very end because the last piece that I'm going to show you is quite the grand finale. So stay tuned for that, but we're gonna get started with clothing with probably the most important thing ever, sweaters. Starting off with a very basic piece, but an amazing staple. This is from Charter Club, never heard of that, but this was $7.99 and it's just a really nice basic black turtleneck sweater. It has this really beautiful like cable knit sort of texture to it. I love that this is relatively thin in the grand scheme of sweaters, but it still has a really nice weight. Like the fabric isn't dense, but the weight is heavy. If that makes sense to my fabric people out there. So I love this. I'm definitely gonna be getting a ton, a ton of wear out of this. I'll probably be wearing this like every day, this fall and winter. So very much looking forward to that. Now the next piece I got, I have actually been on the hunt for. Basically all of the clothing in this haul are pieces that I've wanted for a really long time because I'm just trying to do that with thrifting lately. I'm only buying clothing that I know is gonna be an amazing staple in my wardrobe. That's really good quality so I know it's gonna last long and things that have kind of been on my wish list for quite a while so I know that I'm pretty committed to the idea. This next sweater is from Joe Fresh and it's just this really pretty, very classic nautical sort of navy blue and white stripe. And then it has this really pretty button detail on the shoulder. This was $9.99 and this has been on my wish list for so long. So I'm really glad I finally found the perfect version. The only thing that is less than ideal about this sweater is that it is a cotton acrylic blend. I really wanted one that was 100% cotton, but this will do. It's really soft, which is nice. And I also love this ribbed knit texture. I really love the fit of this as well. It's just slouchy enough to where it still looks polished, but it's super cozy. The next sweater I have to show you. Now, if I have any holiday fans out there, one of the best, maybe the best Christmas movie of all time. You know that Cameron Diaz's wardrobe in that movie is just so perfect. And so I am always on the hunt in the fall and winter for anything Cameron Diaz in the holiday-esque. And I finally found the absolute perfect knit sweater for that. And now that void is like completely filled in my life. Here it is. Yeah, it's pretty perfect. This is from Banana Republic, so it's really nice quality. It's a very pretty, like, kind of cream and tan, like, speckled yarn almost. And then it has this really pretty knit pattern on the front. This thing is so heavy. It has a very, very exaggerated turtleneck, which I love. And what is the fiber content in this. Okay, this is 70% recycled wool and 30% nylon. So again, it's a polyester blend, but I don't feel as bad about that when I'm buying them secondhand. It's more just like a personal preference that I love natural fibers, but if it has a bit of natural fiber in it, that's a close second for me. So I'm really, really, really excited to wear this sweater. This will probably be more like winter because it's really thick, but I'm in love with this sweater. Okay, moving on from sweaters, I bought two skirts and they are both pleated. I've been on the hunt for basic pleated skirts like this because it's definitely something that I feel I'm ready to bring back into my wardrobe. They are definitely very reminiscent of like my soft grunge tumbler days of 2014, 2015, but we're bringing them back in a chic way. These were both $5 and the first one doesn't have any tags on it, but it's this really nice, just classic, almost kind of reminiscent of like Burberry plaid, but not quite 
actually trying to be that, which I like. And then the stripes running through it are navy blue and brown, which I love. I think this with like a fairly monochromatic look will be really nice, like white button down, beige trench coat, maybe our Cameron Diaz knit. I can see it. Some tan boots, I think it's gonna be really pretty. I can also picture this at like Christmas time. I feel like this could easily be very wintry. And then I got a second pleated skirt, also $5. This one is H&M and it's just a very basic black. You can't see too much of the definition in it, but it's a basic. I love a basic black skirt. My sort of outfit formula when I don't know what to wear in the fall and winter is usually some sort of combination of a bunch of black pieces all layered up together. So something like that skirt, I know I'm gonna be able to combine with so many different outfits and I'm gonna get so much wear out of it. Both of these skirts also, this is a great like styling tip for fall and winter. These both fit just like maybe a size up from what my actual size is. I like to have skirts and dresses that are a little bit on the looser side in the fall and winter so that I can easily layer underneath them. So if these fit too tight to my waist, I would have a hard time like layering tights underneath, tucking in sweaters, things like that. So I like to size slightly up if I can, if they're gonna be pieces that I'm gonna wear in the fall and winter. Okay, let's move on to homewares. We are on route to our grand finale. I just picked up a very basic pair of king size pillowcases. These are just basic white with a very subtle stripe. You can kind of see there's stripes that have like a slight sheen to them. And then these have like the border on the outside. I forget what you call it, but basically so that when the pillow is stuffed, there's like a border that's flat that sticks out around it. And I think those were like seven or $8 for the pair. The next thing I got is really random and I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but it was just so charming. I couldn't not take it with me. It was $4. It's this really adorable little cup. I don't really know, but it has a pheasant on it and I just think it's so cute. It doesn't have any sort of marking on the bottom, so I don't know where or when this is from, but it's just really adorable. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but it's yet another little dish to put stuff in, as if I needed another one of those. I also picked up this tablecloth for $5. It's a really gorgeous, like smoky mauve color, which I've been loving lately. It has a very classic, like fleur-de-lis sort of design on it. I see tablecloths like this a lot. I don't really see them in colors like this very often. And also the thing that I loved about this is it's really heavy. And so it has a really nice drape to it as opposed to some of the other tablecloths that you can find in this like classic pattern. I find them to be a little bit like overly cheesy looking because the fabric doesn't have a nice amount of weight to it. So I really love that about this. And I think what I'm gonna try to do with this is make a single duvet cover because I like to layer a single duvet on top of my bed. I usually just fold it at the bottom of my bed. And right now it just has a really basic white cotton um, duvet cover on it. So I really wanna make something that kind of suits the style of my room a little bit more. So I'm gonna see what I can do with this. And now let me go and get the best part of this whole video. Possibly one of the coolest things that has ever come from the thrift store into my life. My mom was at the thrift store recently and she texted me a picture of this laying down. It was $15 and she asked if I wanted it because I'm such a fan of a pendant light. And this was a plug-in, which for something of this kind of style, you don't really find very often. So that was already very rare and I was instantly like, yes, please. Now, when she sent this, I thought it was gonna be like this big, you know, like kind of comparable to like a little caged lamp. No, this thing is massive and I absolutely love it. And it has this extremely satisfying, listen to that click. Very nice. So that is gonna go in the studio somewhere. Not sure where yet, but it will definitely have a place of honor. <laughs> so that is everything that I've been thrifting recently that I wanted to share with you. I hope this got you in the mood to do some fall thrifting of your own. I think there 
is no better time of the year to do it. If you enjoyed this video, you can give it a like down below. You can also subscribe if you want to know every time I post. And I will see you back here next time.